Mick Jagger on the David Bowie song that sounds like the Rolling Stones. The late David Bowie was the best at appropriating elements of other people's work and remaking them in his own image. While few would question his originality, it is strange that a guy regarded as one of the greatest creatives in popular culture is so heavily influenced by the works of others. The Rolling Stones were one of the bands Bowie looked to for inspiration. Bowie's work may be widely influential and even distinctive, despite its many varied chapters and ongoing metamorphosis, yet there are certain very obvious inspirations from the first to the last. Whether it was 1960s folk in his early years, jazz in the mid-1970s, or disco with his global number one, 1983's Let's Dance, it's amazing that Bowie got away with openly borrowing from other artists for so long. Bowie was occasionally caught in the act though. The most obvious example is one of his most iconic early songs, The Gene Genie. Mick Jagger, with whom he recorded the legendary 1985 rendition, Dancing in the Street, pointed out that the 1972 song sounded like his band, The Rolling Stones. Not long after Bowie died in 2016, Jagger wrote about his late friend in Rolling Stone, recalling being given multiple mixes of The Gene Genie, and immediately believing it sounded like his band. I can't remember how I met David, which is weird, but we used to hang out in London a lot in the early days of the 70s. We were at a lot of parties together, Jagger told the BBC. He would come around my place and play me all his music, I remember him playing me different versions of Gene Genie, which was very Stones Y in a way. That's what I enjoyed. Seeing him grow as an artist. In a second Rolling Stone interview from same year, Bowie was reported as revealing that the Gene Genie was an attempt to replicate a certain era of the Rolling Stones, their 1964 self-titled first album. I wanted to get the same sound as the Stones had on their first album on the harmonica, he said.